Stem your look. Greetings. Now, Tengu, cough. Is that you? Why have the years been well? It's great to see a friendly face. And you've brought friends. Please have a seat. Make yourself at home. Today we'll visit the story of the Battle of Saint Cator. Many thanks for coming and keeping me company. In the Second Era, year 852, Allied Nord and Breton forces crossed the borders into Cyrodiil and occupied the major passes and settlements in the Dura Mountains, making their headquarters for the winter at Saint Cator. The Nord Breton forces dared King Colocane's new General Talos to assault them in their mountain fastnesses. When they learned that General Talos had mustered an army in the dead of winter and was marching to assault Sankator, they were elated. Sankator was impregnable, its citadel on high cliffs overlooking the lower city, nestled in a high mountain basin with steep, unscalable cliffs in their rear. The Cyrodiilic army was small, poorly trained and outfitted, short on rations, and unprepared for winter campaigning. As their ragged units assembled in the lowlands beneath the citadel, the Nord Breton allies confidently assumed that their enemy had delivered himself into their trap. The citadel was not only protected by an unscalable cliff in front and unscalable heights in the rear, but the entrance to the citadel was magically concealed under the appearance of a large mountain lake in the basin beneath the heights. Accordingly, the Nord Breton allies left on a small force to defend the citadel, descending through lower passages to attack and overwhelm the cold, hungry, cyrodiilic forces before them. They expected to defeat, overrun, and annihilate General Talos' army leaving no one to oppose their springtime descent into the Cyrodiilic heartlands. Thus did General Talos lure the Nord Breton allies to their doom, leaving a weak force in the lowlands to draw out the defenders. General Talos approached the citadel of saint from the rear, descending the supposedly unscalable heights behind the citadel and sneaking into the supposedly magically concealed entrance to the inner citadel. This remarkable feat is attributed to the agency of a single unnamed traitor, by tradition a Breton turned called Sorcerer, who revealed both the existence of an obscure mountain trail down the heights behind the citadel and the secret of the citadel entrance concealed beneath its illusory lake surface. While the Cyrodiilic army in the lowlands fought a desperate defense against the North Breton sortie, General Talos and his men entered the citadel, swept aside the sparse defense, captured the Nord Breton nobles and generals, and compelled them to surrender the citadel and their armies. The confused and demoralized Nord captives, already suspicious of the scheming Hyrox sorcerer aristocracy and their overreaching dreams of Heartland's conquests, deserted the alliance and swore loyalty to Typo Septim. The Skyrim generals joined their rank and file in Tybo Septim's army. The Hyrock Battle Mage Command was summarily executed and the captive Bretons imprisoned or sold into slavery. Thus was the concerted allied invasion of Cyrodiil foiled and General Talos' army swelled by the hardened Nord veteran troops that played so crucial a role in General Talos' succeeding campaigns which consolidated the Kalovian and Nabonian into the core of the Cyrodiilic Empire and which resulted in the crowning of General Talos as Emperor Tiber Septim. Historians marvel at Tiber Septim's tactical daring in assaulting a fortified mountain citadel in the dead of winter against vastly superior numbers. Later, Tiber Septim attributed his unwavering resolve against overwhelming obstacles that have been inspired by his divine vision of the amulet of kings in the tomb of Remen III. 
The young Talos may indeed have been inspired by his belief that he was fated to recover the sacred symbol of the Covenant and to lead Tamriel to the high civilization of the Third Empire. Nonetheless, this should in no way reduce our admiration for the dash and genius of this defining military triumph against impossible odds. Congratulations, General Talos. Emperor Tiber Septum, I thank you for listening to another Skyrim story. May your adventures be worthy of song. Farewell, for now. <laughs>